Hey, beautiful people. I have something else to show you. I gave you a little tour of the interior of my apartment. My cute apartment the other night. Now I'm going to give you a tour of the exterior. Uh, it's a little back porch that I have. This is really kind of common space in the building, but it's kind of claimed by the first floor apartment uh, tenant, which is me. And I love this little space and it's got beadboard, horizontal beadboard on the walls and these huge windows that look out over the backyard. Uh, and it's a cute little space. I like to come back here and read. Got some shelving. Uh, I found these really fun Halabala uh, replica chairs at the Brown Elephant for $50 a piece. And that is, if you're guessing uh, a sand colored mohair, you would be correct. <laughs> mohair, welting, uh, and a few little plants out here. I want to get some more, but um, yeah, three Halabala chairs. I put in uh, a little drapery just because uh, I don't necessarily like to look down at this. So you can kind of, when you're sitting back here, you can close that off and just kind of have a little divider to look at instead of uh, the stairway. A uh, fun little mirror here. We still got the big boy boots out for winter. <laughs> It is April the 11th, I believe, today. And scarves and hats, winter hats, things like that, gotta go. And then we're in this fun little kind of curved stairway that leads to the door to the uh, backyard. Uh, I've got my photograph here that I took in the summer of 2020. This is North Avenue Beach. Uh, we'll never look like that again. And in 2020, as you know, we had the pandemic, so I went out a lot shooting photography, and uh, that is North Avenue Beach, summer of 2020, with no one around. And I just love it with the lifeguard and the red flag and the, the boat turned upside down and the one boat on top of the other. Super fun. Uh, that is available on my website for sale, doorwaysofchicago.com. And also, I love these two. This is, uh, so you can see that this is the Loyola uh, Mundelein Fine Arts Center doorway. Uh, and you've got the statues Uriel and Jophiel on either side. Uh, that's my, this is my uh, accidentally Wes Anderson, Wes Anderson, accidentally Wes Anderson photograph. Uh, and the uh, doorway of the Greenstone Methodist Church in Pullman which is just the most fabulous church. It's all greenstone, which is that color of green. And they used it in Chicago back in the late 1800s. And this is when Palmer was built. Uh, a lot of it you see in the Gold Coast and also different places around town like Wicker Park. However, it was it's a real porous stone. It didn't last the Chicago winters, so they stopped using greenstone at some point in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And they started going to uh, lime, Indiana limestone, which is definitely, uh, there was a limestone factory down in Remington, Indiana. I grew up. Uh, this is the light post and awning and doorway at the Burwood Tap in Lincoln Park, which is a really old uh, tavern there. I love that. And now I'm going to show you outside my little paradise here. Oh, and this is a doorway that I took a photograph of in Puerto Vallarta uh, in the Gringo Gulch. There it is a, a five-star hotel now. So that's how you get into my apartment from the backyard. This is the gangway <laughs> between my front yard and the backyard. And so when I have parties, which I've often done in the backyard, uh, you just come to this gate or to my apartment and they enter the backyard through this gangway which is super cool. Up a few steps, I'm gonna show you uh, my little pop-up. I cleaned up the backyard today, tonight actually, because I really wanted to, it was nice out, about 75 degrees. And, and I had my 55th birthday here, party here, with about 35 people, did a 
cook out in the summer. My birthday's in July, I love it. And then I had my 60th birthday also here. All right, I just did a little pop-up cleaning tonight. And this is my really fun uh, old vintage wooden deck that's huge, uh, fills up most of the backyard. And I like to, I'm a, I'm a lighting freak, so I like to have low-level lighting for parties. It's super fun and intimate. So I found these really fun little, uh, these are actually glass uh, motive holders that have a pointed tip on them and you can put them down into your garden or your pot and then put uh, uh, tea light candles in them. And I think it's really cool. I plant these planters in the summer. They're overflowing with flowers. Uh, fun little side table there and the cushions, which my landlord, when my landlord purchased this place, these cushions and everything were here, so it came with the place. <laughs> and so that so was a vintage uh, deck, so that was super cool. She's got an amazing place to rent out here. Uh, so the pillows were there. However, these uh, horsehair, horsehair pillows are mine. So I've combined it with some of my stuff. Um, and then those pots are usually overflowing with flowers in the summer. And one of my friends from Detroit gave me this fun little swirl seat. I know more jerks are gonna fly, but that's actually a, an old uh, mechanics chair that uh, an auto mechanic would sit on or lay on uh, to, oh, light went off, sit on or lay on to uh, roll underneath a car, on casters, uh, to repair the car, change the oil or something. How cool is that? And then on the, so this side has a seating. I love to sit here in the summer and read. And on the other side is kind of the dining area, but I sit and work there too. So tomorrow I'm going to be working from home, but outdoors, lovely in this lovely space. Uh, and this is super cool. So there's a whole uh, countertop all the way along the side of the house uh, with a shelf on the top. And yes, that is an outdoor sink that works and a little bar here for my grill tools. Don't know if you can see that or not, um, but uh, all this was here. The tools weren't here. I brought those from my other place, but... And then, uh, when you step off the deck on this side, there is a little grill area that's bricked, and so the grill is there. And this is Lori's grill. I. Uh, she had a, this fabulous Weber grill and I actually fixed it. It was broken when we moved in. And I was gonna just hire someone to fix it. And then I was said, you know what? I grew up on a farm, I can figure this out. So I Googled it all, I ordered the parts and one hot, sum one hot summer day, I crawled there, all up in there. <laughs> and I fixed the damn thing and it works like a charm and so, uh, I've been using that, we've been using that grill for five years. We would eat out here a lot in the summer. Uh, I'm just gonna really miss that because we had the most amazing conversations and we, I am reading a little book on Italy because I am going to Italy this fall, to Tuscany and Rome on a trip with a friend of mine. Gonna start traveling the world, people, about time. <laughs> and then, this is super cool. None of it's, uh, it's just starting to bloom, but uh, there's, flower beds back here, uh, raised flower beds, and some uh, solar lighting, and all of these uh, climbing uh, lattice pieces here my landlord put in last summer. She's an amazing landlord. She uh, is just, I mean, this is a rental, but she almost treats it like it's her own, and, and so do I. So the, between the two of us, we make it wonderful. There's a little hook here, and I have my chimes on the hook. I love those. So Clematis climb up uh, the lattice work and little did she know that Clematis was one of my mom's favorite flowers. So it's just really cool little brick uh, stone path that goes through here kind of leads you around in the backyard. There's a huge hydrangea bush back here in this corner that will bloom soon. Flower boxes on the garage windows. And then this is something really fun and cool that I like to do. I'm really quirky, but I like to be really, um, you know, a lot of this doesn't have to cost a lot of money if you want to have a fabulous place and have a fabulous atmosphere. 
but um, these are security lights and they're uh, motion lights that come on they're super bright and I hate them <laughs> but um, you can just take I just took an old tank top that I had and just covered over it and you can kind of see how bright it would be without that yuck and then it even kind of you know creates a pattern because of the uh, the see-through tank top so you get the pattern and the colors of the material and the fabric too which is fun these are um, you put oil in these and uh, there, there's wicks and you light them and those are on the counter here for just some extra fire lighting and then on the uh, on the light back on the motion light back here what I did is I took uh, an old I like vintage clothes I'm starting to buy more of them so I just found this vintage shirt at a vintage shop here in Andersonville the other day and just hung it over the light to dim it and so it's a really fun easy simple thing to do and that's why I call myself a taste maker because I can make atmospheres like this uh, I did this all tonight I cleaned it up um, not thoroughly cleaned it, but just swept it all up and got it ready. Uh, I, that, my mom called that a lick and a promise <laughs> when we were growing up. And I could never do a lick and a promise. I always had to do everything like to perfectionist state. But she would be like, Ron, just lick and a promise, okay? <laughs> so mom, I did a lick and a promise tonight and came up with this. And that's what's happening tonight. Also, uh, do a little decorating on the fence here with old gears and cogs that were on my dad's mach farm machinery so these were there would be belts that would run around these and run from one from the other so those are all gears and cogs from my dad's farm machinery and it's really nice and fun to have those back here as decoration in the backyard this is a fun little thing um, but just really super meaningful and if you have things like this sitting around use them that's what i say and I like to do that with clients too. I like to find the things that they might have that they might not ever think to use and find a way to use them cleverly in their interiors. So uh, that is the tour of the backyard. It seems like I'm forgetting something. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> I have a big announcement. Uh, I just bought a three bedroom and two bathroom condo in Rogers Park. <laughs> yes, I did. And it's huge and it's beautiful. Um, and it's, I have a place for my family to come and stay now uh, and it's going to be a really nice way for me to move on from kind of this tragic chapter of my life because of Lori passing. It's just too hard to walk by her room every day and so I'm closing this chapter and I'm moving on. I am going to really miss this place because <laughs> I have a little outdoor space at the new condo but nothing like this. Um, so this is my little haven, my sanctuary. We called it that a lot, Lori and I did. And we sit back here and have dinner and talk and laugh. And uh, the parties that I've had here with friends has just been amazing. But I'm here till July 15th, so I'm going to have some parties back here, some farewell parties. Uh, but I am, a, I am now a homeowner, <laughs> and I'm so excited. It's in Rogers Park on Greenleaf. Uh, it's about two steps from the beach and it's very close to the red line cta so my travel time is all going to be cut in half moving around town and uh i told my grandson that when he comes and visits that he's going to have his own room and he says my own room it was the cutest damn thing i've ever seen i wish i could have recorded that <laughs> but i'm super excited about all of that and some really fun things like this happening in my life that i'm actually just manifesting uh, the deal came together in just a way that you could not even believe because there's no inventory right now, especially in my price range. And especially to get a large two, three bedroom, two bathroom uh, condo. And I'm going to post pictures of it soon, so stay tuned. But that was the big announcement that I was telling you guys that I had uh, when I showed you the interior, interior of my house around my, my apartment. And this is the exterior backyard. And uh, it's just amazing. And like I said, I'm really going to miss it. Uh, however, uh, time for the next chapter. So stay in the moment, stay present, invite the miracles into your life, and I guarantee you they will come because you manifest it. And when you're in the moment, 
Uh, I think I talked about this on the last video too, just put your damn phones in your pockets. That's what I've been doing. I've been talking to people everywhere, strangers. And uh, today I had four major miracles happen just from talking to strangers and I'm not kidding. So uh, you can have not, you can have more than one miracle a day. <laughs> you can have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, but bring them in and use your vintage shirts to dim the lights. Good night.